Good Night Veggies, written by Diana Murray, illustrated by Zachariah O'Hora. And our publisher is HMH Young Readers. Good night, veggies. Sunset in the garden. So we've got a rooftop garden there. Robins in their nest. Tossing, turning veggies need to get some rest. Turnips tucked in tightly, potatoes closing eyes. And we said that's clever because when little sprouts form on a potato, we refer to those as eyes. Tuckered out tomatoes, humming lullabies. You guys notice this little earthworms on every page? Cuddly cauliflowers, droopy pods of peas. Now, earthworms actually help improve plant growth considerably. Fun fact, I did a science fair project in middle school about how earthworms affect plant growth. My mom wasn't super pleased because some of the earthworms got loose in our basement, but the plants that had earthworms in their soil grew substantially more because the earthworms, their poop acts like a fertilizer. Just a, another fun fact for you. Cuddly cauliflowers droopy pods of peas. Rhubarbs reading stories to worn out broccolis. Baby carrots snuggling, baby lettuce too. Baby eggplants dreaming. Of places far and new. So they're on a delivery truck, going to an eggplant stand. An eggplant stand at, at the beach, it looks like on an island because there's a palm tree there, and in outer space. Silly eggplant dreams. Cucumbers are calm, lined up nice and neat. You ever heard the phrase calm as a cucumber? Or sometimes if you want to calm yourself, relax, you can put slices of cucumber on your eyes. They do that in spas. So cucumbers are calm, lined up nice and neat. Golden yams are still and beets are simply beet. To be beet means you're so tired. So the beets are beet. Cabbages are nodding their leafy, sleepy heads. If I went to the grocery store and purchased one of these, it would be called a head of cabbage or a head of lettuce. So they're nodding, their leafy, sleepy heads. Radishes are dozing in cozy garden beds. Celery is snoring as sunset disappears. Cranky corn rolls over and covers up its ears because we call these ears of corn. Yeah. And the worm is saying, wee! Every veggie's snoozing beneath the moon so bright. For nothing's more exhausting than growing day and night. Let's zoom in on that earthworm's home there. Oh yeah, he's got a nice long bed and a nice long rug because an earthworm's super long. And then if you look at his photos there on the wall, it's photos of his earthworm family. I like that he has a book on his nightstand too. He's, he's a reader, just like you. Good night, sleepy veggies. Sleep tight. 
know, this is a solar panel that soaks up the sun's rays and turns it into energy. That's great for Earth Day and every day. The end. So our earthworm's a little bookworm too. I love the pictures, the bright colors in this, and how witty the author is with those, those, um, the play on words with the ears of corn and the heads of cabbage. Hope you enjoyed.